Okay, so let's have a look at part C then for the 2019 mock paper polio polo for cash budgeting. So here part C says prepare our prepare our cash budget for four months July to October. So we got July, August, September, October. We don't necessarily need a total column. Then <clears throat> what we're going to do is we're going to start here with the cash pro, pro, our cash customer. So we would have used <clears throat> each budget requires four kg and uh, cost three fifty. That was used as part of the raw materials budget. The stock of finished goods was used for the production budget, and then the stock of raw materials was used for the raw material budget. Here we've got a couple of calculations to do. Two things you can do: you can have a worksheet to do your calculations on, or you can do them in your calculator and just put them in. I'd advise to do them on a worksheet if you can because you'll be getting marks for it if your figure is incorrect here in your cash budget. So the first one says 20% of the sales revenue will be for immediate cash and a cash discount of 5% will be allowed. So we're going to take each one of these figures here and we're going to use these figures to calculate how much our cash customers are. So it's going to be 20% of... Um, 39,000 or 399,000, 5% after that will be discounted. And then the rest then, 80% will be from credit customers. These debtors will pay their bills 50% in month in the month after the sales and the remainder in the second month. So we're gonna have two credit months. We're gonna have credit one and credit two. So for receipts, we're gonna have our cash sales. Just gonna look after this part here. And then we're gonna have credit one and credit two to debtors. So 80% of the sales revenue will be from credit customers. These will pay their bills 50% in one month after sale and the remainder in the second month after sale. So let's go and have a look and see how we actually calculate those figures. So I'm going to do my workings here. So I'm going to do my workings, let's say for, I'm going to do July just here. So our sales for July going to be 399,000 so it's 399,000 we're going to multiply that by 20% <clears throat> so we're going to multiply that 299,000 multiply that by 20% so that'll tell us how much we're going to pay in cash so I need to multiply that by point two. So twenty percent of three hundred ninety nine thousand gives us seventy eight thousand seventy nine thousand eight hundred. So what's left then is to take those two away from each other. So we get three hundred nineteen thousand two hundred. 50% of that is paid in month one and the remainder then is paid in month two. So you're going to take 50% and you're going to multiply it by 319,200. So you get 159,600. Now remember this figure here, this 79,000, 79,800, there's a cash discount of 5% on that. So you need to find 5% of 7. 9,800, multiply that by 0.05. Or you can also multiply by 95% as well if you want. So the figure then for the cash budget for period one is going to be 75,810. Then cash period one in August is going to be 159,600. And for September then, which is period two, it's going to be 159,600 as well. Okay, so let's go over that before we move on to the next one. So it tells us that the sales figure for July were 399,000. It tells in the question that 20% of that is for sales revenue for cash customers. So 20% of 399,000 is 79,800. We take that 79,800 away from the 399,000. It'll tell you how much is left to be paid by our customers for July. 
circa so 319,200. It tells us 80% of the sales revenue will be from credit customers. These debtors will pay about 50% in the month after sales and the remainder in the second month after sales. So 50% of this 319,200 will be paid in August and the rest then will be paid in September. So we get 50% of this figure, we get 159,600. So 159,600 will go for August, which is credit one. And 159,600 will go in September, which is credit two. Now remember, don't forget to calculate your discount. So 79,800, that's your cash sale. So 5% of that will be a discount on it. So we've got 5% of the 79,800, and that's going to give us 75,810, and that goes into your July. So let's have a look for August. So August then, we got 437,000. So in August, we got 437,000. Let me make sure that's correct. So 437,000 it is. So for our cash customers, we're going to get 20%. So multiply that by 20%. So 437,000. Multiply that by 20%, we get 87,400. So we're going to take those away from each other. So that's your figure that's left over. So 50% of the 349,600 is going to be for credit one, and the remainder then is for credit two. So 174,800, that's going to be for credit one. So if you look here, for August, so 174,800 is going to go for credit one in September, and for October, then it will be credit two. Now we need to find out of this 87,400, remember there's 5% of a discount on that, so it's 87,400 multiplied up by 0.05. And the discount is 4,370, so we need to take that away. So the amount that we're going to pay is 83,030. And that's for August. Then we've got September. So our September then is going to be 456,000. So we're going to do the same again. So September, 456,000. We're multiplying that by 20% because it tells in the question that cash is for 20%. So 456 multiplied by 0.2. Remember, we have to calculate 5% on that. So it doesn't really matter when you calculate the 5%. I'm just going to keep going down like this. There's no right way of doing it as long as you get the correct figures. So 50% of the balance is going to be for credit one and for credit two. So 182,400. So that's going to be for October. It's going to be 182,400 for credit one. Now we don't have any credit two, so we're going to leave that blank. And then we need to calculate what is 5% of this 91,200. It's 91,200 multiplied that by 0.5%. That's going to give you a discount. So you're going to take them away. So our September cash sale is going to be 86,640. And then just do the exact same then for October itself. So October then is. 475,000. We're multiplying that by 20% because that's what it tells in the question for cash sales. So 475,000 multiplied that by 20%. So cash sales is 95,000. Remember, there's a discount of 5% on that. We'll calculate that in a second. So the remainder that's left to be paid is 380,000. And as per the question, it says of that 380,000. 50% is paid in credit one, and 50% is paid in credit two. So we're going to get 50% of this 380,000. So we're going to get 
So you get 190,000. Now, it's only 19 there first, so I suppose we didn't really need to calculate it. But the important one is this 95,000 multiplied by 5%. So 95,000 multiplied by 5%. Take it away to see what the discount or see what the figure is we have to pay. So it's 90,250. So the last thing to do then is get the total for each one of the receipts. So we're going to add up. Sorry now. So you're going to add up a column for July, August, September, and October. And I'm going to put the figure just in here. So we've got 75,810. Then we're going to add what's in each one of these columns. So you just put these figures into your calculator. You get the same as me. So you're going to put in these two figures in your calculator, then these three figures, and then these three figures, and add them up to find out what is our total receipts for July, August, September, and October. And that's the receipt section done of your cash budget.